Welcome back. This is the fifth and final video in the set of Microfocus CICS Web Service Provider from WSDL demonstration videos. In this video, I will send a SOAP request to the reverse CICS Web Service running on the CWS Demo Enterprise Server region and receive a SOAP response from the Web Service. Let's review how I set all of this up in the three videos that precede this one. I started with an enterprise developer project configured for CICS COBOL. The project contains a WSDL file named reverse.wsdl that describes a CICS web service named reverse. From the WSDL file, I used enterprise developer to generate the required web service components, including a skeleton CICS COBOL provider application and a WS bind file. Then, offline, I added to the skeleton program the processing logic required to reverse a text string. After building the project, I created, started, and configured the CWS Demo Enterprise Server region, which is now running the web service and is awaiting a SOAP request. Here I'm using a free SOAP requester tool called SOAP UI, but you can use any SOAP requester tool that you choose. I've written a SOAP request that inputs two text strings that I want my CICS web service to reverse and send back. I'm sending the SOAP request to this URL, which is the SOAP address defined in the WSDL file. To send the request, I'll just click on this green arrow. And here is the SOAP response, which, as you can see, consists of the same two text strings I submitted, but each is in reverse order, making them much easier to read. If you would like to run this demonstration yourself, your installation of Enterprise Developer provides both the demonstration files you need and the instructions. See the Tutorial CICS Web Service Provider WSDL Top-Down Method topic in the CICS Web Services Tutorials section of your Microfocus Enterprise Developer product documentation. This concludes the Microfocus CICS Web Service Provider from WSDL demonstration videos. Thanks for watching. Thank you.